Do you sometimes get lonely when coding? Do you love animals or maybe the classic Tamagotchi? Now, if so, VS Code Pets is here to save your day. So in today's video, we will look at VS Code Pets by Anthony Shaw. So VS Code Pets is a VS Code extension that offers a unique way for you to customize your IDE by allowing you to add one of 12 different types of pets. Now, animals you can add include all the classics like a cat, a dog, and a bird. However, you can also add Rocky a Rock, Clippy, an animated paperclip, and even Toronto from Studio Ghibli fame. Now, if this is the first time that you've come across this channel, then my name is John and welcome. I release a video every single Sunday that will help you become an absolute coding legend and a better all-round developer. So if that floats your boat, don't forget to hit subscribe before we get to the good stuff. So, assuming you've done that, let's take a look at how we can create this badass pet. So the first question to answer is how do we install this extension? Well, like everything else VS Code, the marketplace. So if you head over to marketplace.visualstudio.com, you'll be able to find it by doing a search for VS Code dash pets. And it's the one which is written by Anthony Shaw. Now, if we have a look at this in action, to install it within our VS Code instant, you can see that we can just do our search for extension VS Code pets dash pets if i can type and you can see here vs code pets and to sure so install that off you go now in order to configure this extension we need to go to the settings so we can access it via file scroll down here you see i've got preferences and then we can do settings now from here if i do a search for pets you'll be able to see that within extensions we've got vs code pets and we've got six options to configure it so first off, you can see that we can define pet color. So we can have light brown, brown, all that kind of good stuff. Then we can have a pet size. So large, small, nano, medium. We can have a pet type. So what the default one's going to be. As you can see, we've got cat, chicken, crab, clippy, cockatoo, dog, fox, mod, rocky, which is a rock, rubber ducky, snake, toroto, and zappy. After this, you can configure a theme. So you can either have a forest or a castle. And you also have an option that you can throw a ball with mouse click. So after configuring how you want your extension to work, you can then create your pet. So hopefully you can see it down the bottom here, we've got this little pet icon. So if I click on it, I can create myself a brand new pet. From here, let's create a cat, a black cat. And I'm going to call it Winky, which is the name of my old cat. Now you can configure your VS Pets to either display in Explorer or in a brand new panel. But by default, if you look in Explorer, you'll see that you have VS Code Pets. Opening up this panel, you can see your pets. You can see I've got Winky. He's created over there running around. I've also created Toronto. Now clicking on the mouse, you can see that I can drop some balls. They're all going to run towards it because it's so much fun. And there we've got it. Now, sadly, not everyone's going to love their pet. So you're probably wondering, how do I delete my pet? and create a new one. Well, we can do that through the command palette. So let's just say view command palette. You can see that if you do a search for pet coding, we can remove all of our pets. Boom. Sadly, that's the end of Winky. Now we can just create a brand new one by, let's say we're going to create a chicken this time. We're going to call him Chicky the chicken. And off he goes. I can create my ball. And you can see I've got loads of fun because I can even throw my ball around the screen. And look how fun this guy's having. So I'm mixing things up slightly. You can see I've gone back to settings. I've now changed the theme to forest. I've changed the display type panel. I've created a brand new pet. As you can see, I can now throw my ball and my pet's going to go run after it. If they interact with each other, they're going to have a little heart sign, which is all cute. I can also then do a roll call. So I can do a roll call just to get a list of all the pets I've got on screen. So this week's video is definitely a little bit more lighthearted than usual. However, if you want to play fetch with a pet in VS Code, this is the extension to install. Now, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to get actual proper developer tips next week. Also, if you do like this extension, click like. Now, the final thing to say is that if you want to learn more about some epic Visual Studio Code extensions, then I've created a video that lists the best extensions you can find for VS Code. The link to that video is on screen now, so I recommend you check it out. Otherwise, until next Sunday, happy coding.